With over 7,000 islands in the Philippines, day trips and overnights out of Manila are a really nice change of pace from the metro. A quick flight takes you to the beautiful island of Palawan, where there is lots to do out of the centrally located Puerto Princesa. In mid-March, it is off-season and many of the resorts feel like private getaways. Sightseeing and shopping tours are a fun way to spend an afternoon where you can find the perfect pasalubang for those who wait for your return. Be sure and visit Plaza Quartel and the Wildlife Conservation Center, but don't miss the big ticket item, one of the new seven wonders of the world, where at the subterranean national park you'll see in one day what it took nature millions of years to make. So tarana, let's go. There are a lot of inexpensive tour packages that include an hour flight to the small airport or a shuttle from a hotel is easy to find right outside. It's about an hour flight southwest of Manila. Dangkalan Resort is a popular destination for many Filipinos flying from Manila. This time of year it was very quiet. At times it felt like no one else was there. The beach is nice, but not the best for swimming, and only at high tide. There was a strong breeze coming off the water, which was really nice with the hot sun. One of the first stops on the city tour is the Plaza Cuartel. It's a nice park. The old gates convey a sense of history, and there is a quiet, still feeling as you walk under the large trees and provide a cool shade from the equatorial sun. Like so many places in the Philippines, history has woven a tragic tale from World War II, where here Americans stood beside their Filipino brothers against the Japanese invading the islands. There was a massacre that occurred here, and the statue erected as a memorial speaks volumes. As an American, I felt pride and humility reflecting on the sacrifice of so many to secure the freedom I now am blessed to have. Across from the park is a cathedral where the first mass occurred in the late 1800s. From there, a quick ride to some local shopping where there are many crafts and local foods to choose from. Maraming great deals and hindi masyarong mahal dito. As usual, I bought tons of stuff. The next stop on this tour was the Wildlife Refuge and Conservation Center. There's a crocodile farm and a quick history lesson of the largest crocodile ever to live in captivity. The skeleton and hide of this monstrous reptile named Lolong are on display here. These little guys can really jump, so you better watch your hands in this place. There was a moderate amount of walking involved on this tour, but the terrain was pretty good. Nothing too strenuous and no steep hills. These little guys were really cute. You could tell he was really hot sitting out there. I think he was a little cranky. They came surprisingly close.
the majestic Philippine eagle, actually the largest eagle in the world. This guy was just a baby, but it was still great to get a chance to see him up close. A quick stop on a high hill overlooking the city it seemed to be a very popular tourist destination. There was just an amazing looking cloud here. I don't think I'd ever seen one quite like it. The tour wrapped up at the perfect place, Baker's Hill. Mm. Marami Masarap Pakain Filipino Dito. There were lots of yummy stuff to eat here. And the gardens were really cool. The hopia from the bakery was still warm. It was so delicious. Back to the city baywalk where the sun was going down. Lots of restaurants, but not really my style. What I did find was a cool trike. And a guy recommended a restaurant that uh, maybe a makulit americano such as myself might uh, find something. The tricycle driver was great. He took me to this restaurant that I just loved. I ate here every night I was in Palawan. And he waited for me. It was part of the fair. Great selection, delicious food, but cash only. Early start the next day for the two hour ride to the Underground River. Another great shop on the way where this beautiful overlook was on the second floor. Nights were very peaceful and cool here at Dankalan. Breakfast was served early beautiful spot for breakfast on the beach. And after, a nice walk along the beach. The pool was refreshing. Not too hot, not too cool. Nice at night. I think I had the budget room. It was ayos lang pero mura ito. A word of advice 
for you travelers. If you come to the Philippines and you see this, it means one thing. Yeah, if you see this, it means another. No hot water. No toilet paper. That means cold showers. And get ready to uh, ladle some water down your butt crack. Hey, good morning from Dangkalan Resort here in Palawan where things are pretty simple. Nice little breakfast. A little too windy to sit outside today. I sat outside yesterday and uh, it's like breakfast on the beach, really nice. Digging in. I just thought this was super cool. It's like a tree house on the beach, man. I think if I come back to Palawan, I'll request staying here. The view here was absolutely beautiful, completely cleansing to the soul. I took some time to meditate here before saying goodbye to the resort. I had some free time before the flight. I gusto kong mamali ang lahat oras, so I hit the mall. So I just love shopping all the time. I'm getting ready to head out, and looks like the. Uh place to do that is the Puerto Princesa Edo Puerto. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, it's not too fancy and it doesn't take too much to figure out departure. So, uh, bye Palawan. Thank you. Let's go. Hey, in case you forgot one or two little Paso Luban items, you can always pick something up at the last second if you're in the airport. Once you get through the old metal detector, there's not much to it. The only thing I would say is uh, you can actually get a coffee here, which is pretty good. Just sit in front of that if you can. Put passes for an AC in this place. It was great that the plane took off just about sunset. As it banked above the island, you could actually see the sun slipping below the horizon. It was really, really remarkable. This was an amazing trip. I highly recommend it to anyone if they're spending any time in Manila. I packed so much stuff into two days, it felt like I was away for a week. Hmm.
back in Manila out of Terminal 3. No customs I'm thinking. It's all domestic Palawan. Back to Luzon. So apparently the, the trick is to not go anywhere near the taxis and arrivals. But you circle back to the airport and come up to the departures.